the ability to guarantee the eating quality of every single sheep that comes off his farm has been a long-held dream for Western Australian producer Dawson Bradford, a dream that is now within reach of becoming reality. Mr Bradford believes DNA testing will help to eliminate variability in meat quality by identifying breeding stock carrying genes for desirable but hard to measure traits such as intramuscular fat, tenderness and lean meat yield. We haven't been able to re uh, monitor or record these uh, traits uh, until now so there's not a lot of them in the flocks now we've got to build, build that, uh, the population of those traits in our flocks. And that's where we're really at the moment, building foundations from where we can launch into a, a big pre a breeding program. Mr Bradford runs a mixed farming operation on 4,500 hectares at Narragin, 150 kilometres southeast of Perth, which includes a stud flock of pole dorsets for terminal sire use. As chairman of the West Australian Meat Marketing Cooperative, Mr Bradford is in the unique position of understanding the sheep meat industry from both a producer's perspective and that of a processor. One thing is the consumer doesn't like is variability in what they buy. They want consistency, whether it's consistently average or consistently good. It's absolutely critical as, as we go, go forward uh, into the next 10 years to be able to offer a product with superior quality uh, to, to the run of the mill. And I see this is a, a huge opportunity to increase the value that we're getting back from particularly uh, mainly certain cuts, mostly the middles of, of the sheep, uh, to add significant value to what the producer can receive. To achieve that result, Mr Bradford believes sheep breeders need to start the hard work now of identifying the right breeding stock to meet future market needs. If uh, we're producing meat sheep, then we, we need to be produce, producing the best meat sheep. And so that's why uh, the sooner we can identify the carriers of these genes in our flocks and uh, get it filtered right through the flock, it'll take probably three generations to do that once we identify them. Uh, but that, that's the critical thing is to be able to, to get it right through our flock so as we can get consistency in, our meat, in the meat that we supply and be able to stand by it and say, well, this will eat well. Heading up the Sheep CRC genomics research team is Professor Julius van der Werf, who says DNA testing offers a very reliable way of improving specific traits within a flock. In the terminal sire industry, it's uh, the, a lot of traits that are important, growth rate, muscle fat, can to some extent be measured already. So if you do the sums formally, that they don't have a whole lot of extra gain, like it's more like 10 rather than 20%. However, uh, they have those new traits, those carcass traits they can focus on. And again, that's a bit an individual hunter of each breed or how important it will be in the future to them. Like if you want to go for intramuscular fed now, such that in a few years you're ready for that market, that, that's something you can do now.